Ewe dundun cheke, ewe dundun cheke, boro boro cheke boro. Very simple. Slow it down. Ewe dundun cheke, ewe dundun cheke, boro boro cheke boro. I'll slow it down again. Ewe dundun cheke, ewe dundun cheke. Boro boro cheke i boro ewe dun dun cheke ewe dun dun cheke boro boro cheke i boro 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 cheke i boro 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 cheke i boro ewe dun dun cheke ewe dun dun cheke boro boro cheke i boro okay so what is that song singing about an actual like a full translation i cannot give you but uh, ewe dun dun. This stuff right here is ewe dun dun. This little bugger. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see it, but this. Let's see if I can focus the camera. Uh, give me a moment. Well, this is the best I can do, guys. Well, this is called ewe dun dun. Uh, in Spanish, called prodigiosa. Uh, siempre vive, siempre viva. I don't know which one. You know my Spanish sucks, guys. But this is a nifty little plant. It's very much an essential plant. It belongs to Obatara. And uh, it can be grown at home. It can be put in a rogation. It can be put in a saraeco, fonangareo. Um, and this is an essential plant for making osain, ebedundun. So much so that there's a whole song dedicated to it. You know, you're going to find that uh, some plants, a lot of them, a decent amount, uh, when making wasai, not giving out no secrets or whatever. But you'll notice that the name of the plant is in the song. Other examples can I give you? Uh, there's one for Ashibata, for the water lily. Um, just off the top of the dome, I can't think of any other than that. But... And with dun dun, um, also, uh, oh, it's uh, shawuro. I can't remember that one's for like the cotton plant, but you get you get my drift. So, this particular song is for ewe dun dun. So, it's something that can be grown at home, um, and it's a song that's sung for osain, uh, more so specifically when dealing with this plant. So, ewe dun dun, okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.